I always hope that I will get to the point where I won't need my wheelchair in the long run. Kendall Winter is a regular Albertan, except that she has a spinal cord injury. I was in a car accident just over two and a half years ago, September 28th of 2008, and driving along Highway 20, and my car, my wheel caught the shoulder, and I was unable to correct and rolled about six times every way you can imagine. After her accident, Kendall was paralyzed from the neck down. She could not move her arms or legs. She could not breathe on her own, and Kendall could not eat or talk. The news of being paralyzed and probably never walking again was a lot to deal with. Calgary happens to be the place where real breakthroughs could be just around the corner in improving the lives of those with spinal cord injuries. HBI, the Hotchkiss Brain Institute at the University of Calgary, is one of the top Canadian centers for neurological research and innovation. My name is Sam Weiss, I'm director of the Institute, and I'm also a stem cell neurobiologist. The Hotchkiss Brain Institute is a center of excellence in neurological and mental health. Our mandate is to take new knowledge created in the neurosciences and apply it to the most important problems that affect neurological and mental health. The Hotchkiss Brain Institute has over 100 scientists and physician scientists who are working together in some of the most important areas of neurological and mental health. By having basic science and the clinical science together under one roof, we're able to more readily and effectively translate knowledge into real-world application. So spinal cord injury is really the name of the game here. And the spinal cord, which runs inside the spinal column, just like the spinal column bones can break, well, the spinal cord can break as well. So it's as if you took the world's most complicated telecommunications cable and took a sledgehammer and gave it a good whack, right? A lot of damage happens inside that cable. The challenge we have as, as researchers and as clinicians is trying to rebuild those bridges. What we haven't been able to do is translate the anatomy and function we know backwards to take a, a, a broken model and repair it, put it back to normal. So I, I think if you look at neuroscience as a whole, we're on the verge, we're on the fringe, we're on the abyss of looking over and making the next jump from structure and function to actual rebuilding. And so people who are faced with spinal cord injuries outside the acute setting as they return to their home environment and, and try and carry on, they have to learn new ways to do things. The retraining happens from a cellular basis where we recruit and, and retrain nerves in our body to function in ways they're not used to functioning, all the way to training our own perception of, of you know, what's what's a reasonable expectation to make it through the day. HBI University of Calgary has teamed up with the world-class Hebrew University of Jerusalem's IMRIC, the Institute for Medical Research, Israel-Canada. And we all know that the future of the world and this city and the future of ourselves starts and ends with one word, science. Since opening in 1925, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem is the academic home of the Jewish people. Founded by Albert Einstein, Sigmund Freud, and other leading intellectuals, Hebrew University preserves and enriches Jewish thought and creates a better, safer world with first-rate research and real-world solutions in medicine, biotechnology, agriculture, and animal sciences. Ranked number one in academic excellence in Israel, Hebrew University faculty and students conduct 43% of all biotechnology research in Israel and 40% of all civilian scientific research. There are 3,000 ongoing research projects across 100 research institutes. Since 1921, seven Nobel Prizes have been awarded to Hebrew University alumni or full-time academics. This university is spearheading groundbreaking scientific and technological research aimed at improving the human condition. Within Hebrew University's Faculty of Medicine is IMRIC, the Institute for Medical Research Israel-Canada, bringing together top scientists in a multidisciplinary approach to biomedical research. 
scientists like Professor Aharon Levtov, a leading researcher in the human nervous system. That the spinal cord can function even in the absence of the control of the brain. So uh, actually, uh, if you look at it, we teach the spinal cord to walk. So uh, there's a set of circuits within the spinal cord, in essence a mini-brain, that, uh, that contains all the, all the circuitry necessary to produce our, our walking movements. And normally the brain um, interacts with these uh, circuits within the spinal cord to allow us to, uh, to locomote. After a spinal cord injury, uh, these connections are compromised and, um, and the, what we're interested in, in doing is trying to understand how to reactivate these uh, uh, circuits. So even though they don't have any information coming from the brain, or reduced information coming from the brain, they still have the capacity to produce uh, very, very good walking patterns. Professor Levtov has um, um, created a, a way to, um, a, to activate uh, areas of the brain um, using light technology. So um, he, has adapted, he has adapted techniques whereby you can shine uh, blue light onto the areas of the brain that you want to activate and uh, the brain cells become active. And so it's as um, fast as uh, flicking a light switch. The neurons immediately will uh, turn on and um, turn off again uh, just by flipping essentially a switch. And the, in, over the long term there certainly are possibilities in terms of using that technology to uh, activate uh, brain circuits in, in people. Professor Levtov's um, um, software and uh, analysis um, suite that we're, we're using um, really really allows us to uh, make uh, inferences about what is going on um, inside this, this network in a way that we really couldn't do um, otherwise. And it's a very very powerful tool. There remains a need for, um, for individuals from Calgary and from the Hebrew University to meet and to, to talk face to face and really that's how um, collaborations um, uh, are nurtured. I would like to do sports again, maybe not the type that I did before, seeing as I already broke my neck once. I really don't need to be out there snowboarding or getting hit in rugby and busting something else, but I would love to get to the point where I could just play basketball, volleyball, something like that, even go for, go for a nice hike. Your support of this partnership between the University of Calgary Hotchkiss Brain Institute and IMRIC, the Institute for Medical Research Israel-Canada, will make possible face-to-face -face collaboration between researchers at both locations. This could be one big step towards a significant breakthrough in spinal cord injury research.